about this? Um, yeah, I lied. I couldn't help it. Might do, uh, do another video. We're on our way home. Um, we left about 4.30 this morning. Uh, and it was freezing. We've actually had the heater on. As we came through Terrell, well, you know, the side of Terrell, which is sort of known as the coldest place in Spain, it was about 9 degrees. Um, we've now got 19. Um, we're well over halfway. We're past Madrid. <coughs> um, but it's still going to be 35 on the Costas today. Uh, but I thought I should do, I'll show you some clips of just going through Spain because when we came through and I took them they didn't come out very well at all. Um, so th this is, these are the Spanish planes. You know, mainly Spain stays mainly on the plane. Uh, we've come through the mountains of Madrid through the centre. Uh, yeah, and I'll just show you a bit more as we go through. Because, you know, it does change quite a lot. And this is the boring bit. Okie dokie. The famous balls I was talking about earlier. Big in the road here. Biscuit factory. Anyone's interested in them? We get them in England, don't we? Some, yeah. Yeah, we do get them in England. All getting a bit different now. We're off the planes. Um, coming in the mountains. Loads of viaducts and stuff now, and tunnels. Um, we'll be going through and over to get where we all go. It's a lovely day. Sunny and bright. This is what we like. 22 degrees. <coughs> Very good. See that road there? And a lot of these motorways, you'll see this, a little road running alongside it. That was the original road built years before the EU gave Spain all this money to have these motorways built and that's why a lot of Spanish people in rural areas never never really travelled 
it took days to get to places uh, rather than hours now with the motorway. <coughs> I mean, the motorway's really opened up Spain big time. I mean, you can see it there. Um, yeah, it did make a difference. lorries if the brakes fail they roll down here there's a sign again it's that sign there I don't know where it is yeah you go down there you take your lorry down there uh, and there's well, not the ones that I've seen there's been piles of sand at the end the lorry would just crash into the sand that's the idea of it. <coughs> Safety thing. Little town down here in the valley. Quite quaint, isn't it? Very, uh, what do you think? Very Swiss looking, isn't it? A lot of it. type houses. Um, I had house the missus called. Yeah. Little boy up there. Yeah. See how much greener it is up here can't you? Get much more rain up here. We went over a few rivers and they're quite full, unlike the ones um, down south on the coast of there. Most of them are just dry, dry beds. Yeah. We've got to find a carafe. Um, what happened was we got a bag of change. Uh, what? 180. Yeah, go on in. Uh, a bag of change which has accumulated over the years. Um, Carrefour, which is a big supermarket, for, it's a French supermarket actually. Um, they've got the coin machine where you can change it all up. Look, it's only there, you can see inside. Um, and we went there yesterday, and the machine was full up, wouldn't take any more money. Um, so we're just gonna, we, we've got plenty of time, we're going to try and, uh, well, we've found one here um, amongst these roadworks. So I'm not sure if we can come off here or not. Let's have a look. Is this, is this the 180, is it? Yeah. 
inside the car afford it. Yeah, so let's see if we can get rid of this smack. Oh, Leroy Merlin, look. Lanes to take the exit toward A67 oh, Santander. Here. Oh, yeah. Coin Star, it's called. Some machine, isn't it? We had to take the difference between all of them, isn't it? I should have put some washers in there and all, shouldn't I? Oh, no. Is it? Oh, you tried it. <laughs> That's 12 euros so far. Oh, right. I'm going to get over 20 euros. Easy. How much have we got in here? No. Loads. Oh, look at this. Everyone's a winner. Right, there we go. That ain't bad, is it? Uh, nearly 60 euros. They take 10% or something, don't they? Yeah. Is your transaction complete? Yes. Give me the money. Cash voucher. Oh, you have to spend it in the store. Make up. Uh -huh. Super supermarket, they're French, they, it really is a good supermarket. You got the fresh fish and the meat and that, it's incredible, it really is. Uh, but we're not doing that. We're going to use their toilet uh, and then we're going to head on to the ferry port. Sad, I know, but I'm in Leroy Merlin, um, which is like a, it's a snub French outlet, uh, it's like being q um, I'm just going to come I mean, and I'm grab a couple of these buckets. These are, they're virtually unbreakable, they're not as big as ours, but they're great to swing your muck up onto the scaffold and that on the first lift. Most of my stuff's first lift stuff anyway. Um, you just can't break them, they're this rubber thing. So, let's go and pay for these. Well, let me explain how speed cameras work here. This is a sign you'll see, control the velocity data. And then, as you come down, they're normally quite a way down. Let's see if we can spot it. <coughs> see it? No, I can't. It could be a fake one. They normally do have one, don't they? There, there it is. See this grey box just in front of the gantry? There. That grey box, that's a speed camera. Now, when they first came out, Here. Plenty being built, as you can see. 
Uh, but it's a massive working pool, isn't it? It's in ten there. Uh, quite industrial, all of it. In 600 metres, continue straight onto Calais Marques de la Hermida. Check you, every car here, they come in though, into the, into the pool, the, off the ships from wherever they're made. Germany, Turkey, all around the world. Over there, waiting for us to get on it. Use the right lane to stay on Calais, Antonio. Yeah, we're here. Um, fuck you know. Oh God, it's a real one at Paul of Annapol. Um, till he opened it up and see this. <laughs> yeah, he looked at it and thought twice about it. They got the dog though. They got the sniffer dog up. Had a sniff. But, um, yeah, we're full up as you can see. Uh, and yes, that is a wheelbarrow. It's a very good wheelbarrow, about 70 euros over here. I've had it a while. There was room for it, so it's gone in. Right, as you can see, it's very busy. Mike well, really Ryan's cars, those people came out for holiday. Uh, yeah, let's go and have a little walk over here and um, see what's going on. There's one of them. Whatever that is. What is it? Morgan. Oh, is it? Oh, Morgan, yeah. Is it an old one? No, it's, it looks more like a kit, doesn't it? Yeah, it's our fault. It looks fiberglass, doesn't it? I think they were. No, it's too modern, isn't it? Nice, though. Yeah, very nice. She can get me out. Yeah, she can get me out for Christmas if she wants. Porsche. Right. Yeah, not much on here. Nice right, Ferrari there. I love his number plating. Uh, I walk out the front. See what you can see up here. Now the bikes are on. Oh, now we're talking. But it's your beauty. Maserati. Very nice indeed. Huh? Maserati Quattroporte. Quattroporte, yeah. 57, 58? 69. 68. 68. Alright. Very Looking after though, don't they? Yeah, no more than any other car really. Uh, what petrol you put them now though? Uh, 98. It's straight in, no, no additives? I don't know because um, we had the petrol a few years ago and changed, changed them. Changed them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. I've still got additive in the boot in case I can't get 98. Somewhere else, yeah, yeah. I've got 95 in it, pinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't do no damage. Well, long term it might, I suppose. No, no, because I mean, yeah. we've only ever. <coughs> We've been right down to Portugal, then. Yeah. We've only ever had to fill up once for 95. Yeah, once it mixes anyway, it's alright, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we've been halfway through it and then sort of topped it up with 98. Lovely. Beautiful car. Yeah, thank well you. done. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Very modern lines here, really. Anything else? Old Land Rover. That's about it. Everything else is modern, by the looks of it. Camper vans, loads of camper vans. Right. Right, here we are. Pop back of the boat. Uh, that's Santander. Santander. Uh, it's a big boat, isn't it? The swimming pool here. I've never ever seen it open. I don't know what the crack is with that. Out the other side of the boat, ferry, oh, what do you call it? It's a work, you've got a port over there. <laughs> this side and the small boats are all over here. Over in that bit. 
fair way down, isn't it? Yeah, mountains in the background. I don't know where that town is over there, it's probably part of Santander, I don't know. So there's a beach in that over there. But yeah, that little boat down there is actually the Guarda Seville. I had to stop filming when we come in, but uh, I don't know, like being filmed that, Bob. But yeah, all good. A little sunbathing. I'm gonna go to the bar, grab a beer, and uh, see what happens. Well, the infamous Bay of Biscay. Uh, I fell asleep last night reading the book. I woke up to this almighty crash as this wave must have hit its broadside and we've been in this, well, we're at the edge of a storm, but we're not in the storm all night. Um, it's been pretty rough. Nothing that this ship can't handle, but I'm sure it scared the life out of some people. Um, I went to the toilet in, in the night and uh, ended up sitting in the fucking shower. Um, but there you go. Um, it doesn't look that bad out the window, but it's a, you know it's a big swell. Um, it's just calmed down a little bit now, but um, we've had a couple of crashes where the, the, the ship actually has left, you know, took a bit of air and come crashing down. Uh, but anyway, we'll, I've got all my confidence in Captain Frog Legs. He'll get us there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> see that now that's how much we're moving yeah all right see you in blighty